Back two years ago when I was so depressed, when I was buried in this deep black hole, my counselor asked me to come up with 10 positive attributes of myself, and I could not do that. So she said, if you can't do that, then why don't you have two or three friends come up with 10 positive qualities? So I assigned to my closest friends the job of coming up with 10 character strengths for me. I put them in a folder labeled self-esteem file. Mike Leach, one of my very best friends, was the first to do this for me. I call him my foster dad as well and my writing mentor. On his list of 10, he said, you are a loyal friend, you have empathy for those who suffer, you persevere, you are grateful, you have a big loving heart, and you wear it on your sleeve. And that meant so much because it had nothing to do with anything professional. Um, and I was basing my self-esteem for so many years on what I could accomplish in my profession. So then anytime I got an email positive from somebody, and I'm talking anything positive, like saying, you didn't smell today, I put it in my self-esteem file. Um, a couple months after I started this file, I received a very important email from one of my mentors as well, Keith Egan, uh, who's one of the country's most, Carmelite, most prominent Carmelite scholars. And the fact that he found me a strong person, having studied all of the Carmelite saints, John of the Cross, Teresa of Avila, Therese of Lisieux, uh, really felt wonderful. He wrote, um, I am sorry that the last past year has been so difficult for you. As you know, the dark night is always for the sake of light and love. You are indeed a very determined person, which reminds me of Teresa of Avila speaking of determined determination. I know that it is not a matter of sheer willpower, but there is also a way in which we can do all that we can do to overcome fear, because there are reasons to do so, a loving husband and the gift of two great children. It is not the same as running a marathon, but these gifts can give you reasons for pushing ahead one day at a time. Know, too, that you have the backing of friends who want you to succeed as a happy, productive person. You are in my prayers and have full support in any way I can do so. None of us want to see you in such pain. Your namesake, Teresa Blizia, had lots of dark days. She is a good one to whom you can pray. Blessings and best wishes for the remaining days. Keep. And uh, one of the other extremely touching ones was from Eric. Um, it was four days after I got back from the hospital the second time at Johns Hopkins. And I wrote to him, I love you so much. Thanks for loving me through this. And he wrote back, you're a diamond. I wouldn't throw something like that away. I also have to mention my friend Michelle because as I go back through this file, every other, <laughs> every other email is from her. Um, I mean, she wrote to me every single day for about a year and just told me something positive every single day. Uh, she was wonderful. This was about two weeks after I got back from the hospital. And she said, now, repeat after me, acute e rapete. <laughs> this too shall pass. I am going to look back on this terrible nightmare and thank God that it is behind me. When I do, I'll be amazed at my own strength and determination that got me through. It'll be impossible to imagine how I was able to do it. And she said, on that day, you and I will raise a flute of non-alcoholic Don Berrion and make a toast to the new era, A.D., after depression. So, at first, my file was pretty small. Whoops. But now I put every single positive feedback that I get on a post. So it's growing quite a bit. And I'm happy to say that this is it. 
that's my self-esteem file right now.